It's interesting. Hey guys, Jeremy here, and a very special video here. Now you're probably wondering from the title what this movie is. Well, actually, the director of this film, Matt Frame, contacted me because he saw the review that Mark and I did about Friday the 13th Part 3, and he said, well, this movie is a parody of that film and the entire Friday franchise, so do you want to watch it? And I said, sure. So I watched it, and it is by far the most bizarre thing I have seen in a long time. The film is a hyper-excited, absolutely batshit crazy sort of homage, lampoon, and parody of the original Friday the 13th movies. I got a lot of the references, thankfully, from starting this sort of review marathon thing. I got a lot of the references that were in this film. And some of them are pretty funny. And there's a lot of jokes that I actually thought I'm pretty surprised that worked. The film is about a campsite area called Camp Meth. It's being reopened several years after the serial killer legend Johan Van Damme's reign of terror supposedly came to an end. The camp is meant as being a sanctuary for mentally ill or crazy batshit weird ass characters and what these characters consist of are super batshit crazy caricatures of the stereotypes that they are based on from ba pretty much every single horror movie you've ever seen and there is some absolutely bizarre bizarre shit in this film there's a one point where a musical number just appears out of nowhere and it's a dude talking about how he wants to bash people's heads in and whatnot and he's walking around in a purple clown suit I was nothing but amazed. I literally just stared at the screen with my mouth agape for the entire sequence and said, well, you don't see that every day. The film definitely reminds me of two very specific film directors, the first being James Gunn's early work. James Gunn's early work was absolutely bizarre, very weird very over-the-top silly movies. So this film definitely follows in that sort of idealism, just obviously on a cheaper budget and just way more batshit crazy. It also reminds me of Freddy Got Fingered. I hope they aren't offended by the reference, but I actually got a lot of that just from how this film goes off on a tangent several times throughout. Just something very bizarre and something very random appears. But what you can definitely see from this film, it was all done in good fun. You can tell that everyone is having a absolute blast with this because this is just so crazy and just so funny and just so ridiculous. Admittedly, some people will definitely not enjoy this. I know a few friends who would watch this for about five minutes and be like, yeah, no, I'm not watching the rest of it. But for people who enjoy and can appreciate films being made on short budgets, films being made just for the sake of having a fun time and making a fun movie, definitely will appreciate this. It's definitely the most bizarre film I've ever seen. From the squirrel sucking in and blowing out copious amounts of cocaine on someone, to the uncle getting gagged to death by a turd on a plunger. I've seen things now. I've seen a lot of things that I'm not gonna forget because of this movie. So that's my shout out for these guys and their film. I was very thankful and very appreciative for them allowing me to watch this film. It's about to start its festival circuit right now, so I wish them all the best. You can definitely see that they worked hard at this while having a good time, and the homages will definitely be seen by fans of Friday movies, and oddly enough, there's a weird reference to Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, if I'm correct. So again, thank you to Matt Frame for allowing me to watch this movie. It definitely is a weird, good, bad movie, and I will definitely not forget ever watching this film. So, again, good on you guys, and I wish you all the best. Capture 3 in 2D.